Hey, what's up, everybody? It's that time you've been waiting for. We finally got through all those memes and judged them. Kate actually had some criteria she used to judge these memes. I didn't use criteria. I just thought I went with what was funny. Here are the criteria that Kate used. Kate bumped up the score if you used a recognizable meme template. She also gave extra points for universal scenarios, if most GIS people had experienced what the meme was about. And then the last thing was if it just made her laugh. And I just kind of judged by what was most painful and funny. These aren't in any particular order. I'm just throwing these up. We'll do one from Kate first. This one from Kate was painfully funny for me as well. I don't know how many times I have gone through drafts of a map and then they throw something else at me to put in it. I actually remember a project where we went through iteration after iteration after iteration of, of a map. And I'd keep sending it back to the person and getting their input and they'd always have something to add. I'm like, why don't you just write them all down and I'll do them all at once. I actually call this moving the kitchen cabinets. I don't know if you've ever seen Sleepless in Seattle. Tom Hanks plays a recently widowed architect. He moves out to Seattle to get a new environment. He has a very finicky client where she makes changes after changes. He says, you know, we can do that, but we're going to have to move the kitchen cabinets. So I call this moving the kitchen cabinets. Well, that's a pretty long story for a meme. This one goes along with Kate's. This is one I picked. I have to admit my age here. I had to look up what TFW means. For you guys that are my age, TFW means that face win. I don't know how many times I've been given a spreadsheet with really bad formatted addresses or in fields all spread out through the spreadsheet it it's painful that's why i picked this one it's it's painfully funny this one from kate uses a tried and true meme template with the sweater vest guy i don't know what you call that let me know in the comments what this meme template's called i can't remember what it's called my kids would know but uh, arcgis pro stopped working and i forgot to hit save that is pretty painful it's happened, but luckily Pro actually has a backup. Like you started up again and it said your last map didn't close properly. Would you like to use the backup? That's handy. Thanks, Esri, for that. Now this one from me, I picked this one because I liked it. It was funny. It's so true. You turn on labels for some layer. It takes forever to draw. <laughs> and it seriously it takes minutes to draw all those labels. And then if you pan the map just a little, it starts all over again and it it takes forever. So you can either fix that by turning off the labels as you get things positioned, or I think there's a feature where you can stop labeling while you're drawing, while you're messing around, and then you can turn them back on again. But I also have a way to get around this, and it's it would be a Python or an arcade expression using the mod operator. If you don't know what the mod operator is, it's the percent symbol. You put a field value, then the percent symbol, and then like, let's say we only wanted to label every contour that's divisible by a thousand. So you say if field, the label field mod 1000 equals zero, then label it. Now this last one from Kate is uh, the Anakin and Padme meme format. I, this is a funny format for me too, because you can throw a ton of stuff in there. And usually it's Anakin being... Uh, the simple-minded one instead of Padme. And this time it's flipped. It's Anakin, who's the GIS analyst and staring down his nose to Padme about her calling him just, her saying, just make maps, right? You you make maps, right? <laughs> then this last one that I picked, I like this one for one reason, because I like this actress. She's super funny. I love her in Parks and Rec. I like her in uh, How to Win a Date with Tad Hamilton. Really funny lady. I think she's super funny. Anyway, and also... Uh, metadata. I never do it. <laughs> so that's painfully true in my book. <laughs> yeah, I really did the metadata. So there's the memes of one. I'm going to go throw a chopper emoji on the, on the post for those that I picked. And I'm going to encourage Kate to go throw a potato emoji on the ones that she picked. I appreciate Kate being willing to judge those memes. Uh, she's a far better judge than I am. <laughs> she, she makes some really funny ones herself. If if she would have been allowed, she would have won all of them because she has a lot of funny memes out there. Thanks for participating. Thanks for creating all those memes. That was fun to judge those. And we'll catch you next time.